Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. One thing I forgot to do in the story time here was check the board. Ancient prophecy discovered. When the moon shines bright, the end will draw near. Graffiti corner. What's going on tonight? Is the man in the moon freaking out or what? The starstruck astronomer. Um, also, between parts, I decided to go and buy as many Super Luigi volumes as I could possibly do at this moment in time. There are no more at the shop, but the last will be available later. I see that uh, Luigi was replaced by a mushroom on the, the table there. Well, stock store shelves. Yeah, it's the filthy empty space. <laughs> Anyway, let's go back down to the Thousand Year Door because it's time to finally continue the story. Here we are. Oh man, frankly. You were waiting here for so long, weren't you? I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> what kept you, Mario? Well, it doesn't matter now. I don't think they're in the vicinity anymore. They must have found another way to get through the door. What? How? It all comes down to this. Hurry now, Mario. Hold the lock, the last crystal star. We've come a long way. Helped a lot of people. Got all the stars? Now let's see what's behind this door. Shiny. Look! The door! LEDs! This technology seems a little too... Advance for this. Oh, forget it. <laughs> Whoa. Well then. Uh, that doesn't look too friendly. Uh, at long last, the entrance to the Palace of Shadow has been opened. Before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend, before he takes over the world. We must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm. Mm-hmm. Come on, Mario! We got anything else to say? Me? I just get in the way. I'll wait here and, uh, watch the door. Yes, that's it. <laughs> it's all up to you, Mario. Stop there. Follow amb ambitions and save Princess Peach. All right, will do. Going in. Don't worry, you can go back out anytime you want to. <laughs> it only looks like you're being sealed in. That door just functions as a regular door. Chapter 8! The Thousand Year Door. Let's start! Hmm. Looks pretty friendly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this place is freaky, but we don't have a choice, Mario. You gotta get in there and save Peach before this gets out of hand. Come on, Mario. Oh, yeah. Alright, so, this is the Palace of Shadow. This is the entrance to the Palace of Shadow. I've seen no, I'd seen no visitors for 1,000 years. It's so big, and it kind of overwhelms you, doesn't it? That treasure is here. Treasure? No, I don't like the vibe from this place. Maybe it's just my nerves. For not, like, anyone being here for a thousand years, it doesn't seem all that dusty. I mean, I guess I'm kicking up dust with my feet, but with a thousand years worth of dust, I don't even think you'd be able to see the color of this carpet or the walls or... Oh, forget it. <laughs> Alright. We are in. It looks... Not too friendly. We got a stopwatch down here. Don't forget about that. Pretty nice item to have. New enemy. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna destroy it in one hit. It's got a lot of HP, don't worry. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about uh, wiping them out before I can tattle them. Mm, bloop, bloop. That's a circular, an airborne, blood-sucking, bat-like thing. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. As if losing HP wasn't bad enough, this little creep adds yours to its own. Oh, totally, totally gross! Don't let it bite me, Mario! Alright, let's just knock this one out and hope that it attacks Mario. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Total failure with the Zap Tap badge. Oh, yeah, I didn't even press the A button to guard there, by the way. So, as, as long as you can't let, as long as you don't let it suck onto you, it won't be able to steal your HP. Hence why the Zap Tap badge. Pretty powerful in general. Because <laughs> it ruins uh, enemy strategies. Alright, I'm just gonna avoid you guys, because I already did the tattle. Come on, just need you to swoop the other way. There you go. Uh, anything hidden down here? I don't think there is. I just remember that one stopwatch. Yeah, I didn't think so. Damn. Yeah, okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Um, shooting star! Nice item. I'm so glad I have extra inventory space. Oh, wait, aren't... Are you a regular dry bones? I don't think you are. I don't think you are, are you? Hmm, are you really? Uh, hold on. Yeah, you are a regular dry bones. What? Oh, the other ones were dull bones that I was thinking of. That's a dry bones. It's a former Koopa whose spirit animates its bones. Yeah, that's so freaky. Max HP is eight, attack is five, and defense is two. When its HP goes down to zero, it collapses into a fire. But it'll eventually rise again. Fire and explosions will put a permanent end to it, though. Uh, to permanent end to it, getting back up, though. Dry bones will sometimes build friends if it feels outnumbered. If you don't take them all close together, they'll just keep coming back. Let's wipe them all out at once and quick! These things totally freak me out. A lot of things seem to freak her out. So, yeah, you want to sort of chip away at their HP in a way that is equal. Yeah, see, I got it in, in range. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. Just had to do that, didn't you? Just had to do that. <laughs> and as you can see, the new ones are at full health. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you definitely want to use multi-attacks to wipe them out if at all possible, hence why they gave you a shooting star. But... You know what I'm gonna do? Run! <laughs> You get the idea of how to defeat them. They aren't a difficult enemy, they're just really, really annoying. And I just want to get my coins back, if at all possible. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, there we go. Okay, just keep throwing them. Oh, seriously? You, I, I couldn't get around you? What? 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 Okay, this time I'm going right when I leave the battle. And screw the coins! <laughs> well, okay, maybe I'll try and get some coins. Uh, Gun, out of money. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one. <laughs> Tired of getting into battles with that sucker. Nope. Okay, get, at least move a little bit out of the way. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good right there. That's okay. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. I hear cannons firing somewhere else. So that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Well. Can I, like, do this? No. <laughs> I thought I would give it a shot. Haha. <laughs> Alright. I was gonna do these tattles all at once when I go up to the cannons. You know, the bullet bill blasters. But I'll, I'll do one at a time, I guess. That's a bombshell bill! Bullet bill blasters shoot these things repeatedly. Max HP is 3, attack is 6, and defense is 2. Its attack is high, but its HP is low, so take it out before it takes you out. And again, if you focus on these guys, you'll never win. Smack that Bullet Bill Blaster! Mm, there's no Bullet Bill Blasters! Oh, that... yeah, defense. Oopsie. Oh, that worked. <laughs> Super guards are as good as anything, I suppose. Alright, uh, slap so failed. <laughs> you can sometimes sneak in between the middle of them. Haha. Uh -huh. And it just blew up off-screen. 
Uh, yeah, you can sometimes sneak in between the middle of them to avoid them completely. Uh, you can also use Vivian to dodge them altogether as well, which I probably should have done to begin with. But I just wanted to try the roll, <laughs> the rolling method there, just four kicks, because it looked like you could fit underneath there. Yeah, see how that works? Attack! Oh, shoot! I should have brought out Goombella. And this isn't gonna do any damage. <laughs> uh, I guess that's fine. Because I'll just be able to swap over and do a tattle. And they can fire all they want, because I'm gonna end up wiping them out in one hit anyway. That's a Bullet Bill Blaster! It fires Bomb Wells! Bombshell Bill Blaster! It fires Bombshell Bills! Sorry about the abbreviation. <laughs> Actually, PS10 defense is far, it's really, really tough. Yeah, hard to hurt this guy. Thing is, if you don't keep taking it out, it'll keep shooting bombshell bills at you. So you gotta figure out a way to beat it, and fast. Well, maybe I won't be able to defeat it in one hit, but I will be able to do Earth Tremor, which can do it in two hits. <laughs> and uh, Yosher's defense penetrating move will also be pretty useful against those critters, so. Don't be shy about using that. Uh, maybe combine the Earth Tremor with the Yolster's Gulp, and then wipe them out in one turn. <laughs> yeah, these have higher, uh, higher HP than I remember they had. Must be thinking of the original uh, Bombshell Bill uh, versions. Alright, someone's firing high. Uh, just one more Earth Tremor, I'm fine with that, I guess. I'll recover my star points a little bit later on. I just brought out the Yoster just in case things don't go all that well, if you know what I mean. <laughs> like, sort of like that. Well... That's okay, I guess. Um... Oh, it didn't take out the first one. Well, I can't take out one of them. Yeah! Like that. Yeah. Oh, it attacked the Yoster, not Mario. I tried to do a Super Guard for Mario and it was going the wrong one. It's fine, it's fine. There we go. It's always good that I did have Yoster all. Alright, this time I'm gonna go for the badge points, I guess. Been a while since I've upgraded that, so there we go. Grab the spoils. Next room. Uh, oh. This room. Yeah, this room. Be careful. <laughs> All or nothing badge. Hmm. Pretty nice badge if you can do your action commands consistently. Uh, I don't remember this room's layout. I just remember it's an annoying room. <laughs> just go, oh! Go like one square at a time. Tile, square, whatever. Oh, that, that worked out pretty well, didn't it? <laughs> a lot better than I thought it would go, actually. Alright, save block! So, with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here, because I saved, we got a nice checkpoint of sorts here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. Fire bars are mesmerizing. Mario 1 reference. <laughs>